Hello again everybody, welcome back to Flight Simulator X Gold Edition. We are going to be doing the next mission on the list, which is another tutorial mission of course, and it is approaching the airport. Learn how to approach an airport for landing, estimate time complete is 10 minutes, let's go to the briefing. What's the secret to a good landing, good approach, In the, what's the secret to a good landing, a good approach. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to approach an airport for landing. This mission begins with the Piper Cup in the air, about 5 miles northwest of Eagle Creek Airport. Key, key, outside Indianapolis. Markers will guide you to runway three. Fly to each market in sequence, then land. We have indeed flew tutorials one to four, so that's that's all well and good. Okay, so let us uh, go into the mission, guys, and I'll see you when we're in there. Tutorial. Whoa! How to approach an airport? We're instantly up in the air. Oh. You're flying in a Piper Cub about five miles northwest of the Eagle Creek Airport. Yeah, it did say that. Ahead of you. Adjust the throttle to maintain about 70 miles per hour for the approach. 70 miles per hour. The runway in use right now at Eagle Creek is runway three, which runs right to left. To land, you first need to line up with the runway. Waypoint markers have been placed to suggest a good flight path for the landing. Remember, to look around, move the hat switch on top of your joystick, or press and hold the space bar, then move the mouse. We just descend and reduce the throttle here. And then we ascend and put the throttle back to full. So if we can just try and follow this uh, this flight path here, we'll hopefully get get through this mission without uh, crashing the plane into the ground. I'm gonna say when we do actually start doing these missions, like the proper ones, I'm going to be shit at takeoff and landing. I warn you about Turn that. Turn to the right now to follow the markers. The mission compass in the upper left corner of your screen will point to each marker in sequence. I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning. I hope. I hope I can turn quick. Oh my god! I should have turned a bit quicker than that, maybe. Come on, go through it. Please say this, is, please say this counts. Yes, it does. Look to the left. Whew. You should be flying parallel to the runway as we fly past the airport to set up for landing. Yes, I'm flying parallel. At this point in an approach, you would normally slow the aircraft down to prepare for landing. This cub is slow enough that you don't need to slow down. Just keep flying at about 70 miles per hour. It's such a fucking slow plane. At this point, we're flying on what is called the downwind leg of the traffic pattern. The downwind leg. Just, uh, just reducing the throttle again, just, just so we can try and keep around 70 miles an hour. I think we are a bit over 75 right now, but that is that that's that's not too bad. I'd say as long as it's as long as it's between 60 and 80, you know, it's a it's a good uh, it's a good level to be at according to what the instructor is saying anyway. So we'll just fly towards this gate, which is just under one nautical mile away. You can tell it's a very old-fashioned plane, kind of, because you know when you actually turn this plane, that little wire at the top goes left and right. So you can kind of tell that 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 wire is maybe actually being used to turn the plane, it is actually that old fashioned. You know, sc screw steering wheels, we've got we've got a fucking clothesline. Right, let us just reduce the throttle a bit more. And then we now just make a gentle start turn to the left arc to the, the left. base leg and follow the markers toward the runway. Try to maintain seventy miles per hour throughout the turn. I'm trying, I'm trying. I would say the speed that we're going at is close enough. Turn slightly to the left again. Excellent. 
just keep on gradually turning left. Okay, what the hell's happened to the freaking... God, that, that is some serious uh, uh, stuff. Reflection, sun reflection on, on those uh, meters just that I just realized that we completely missed this gate as well, kind of overshot it a bit. Great. But we still now went through it. Turn to final and line up with the last three markers. Adjust the throttle to slow down to 60 miles per hour. The runway is at an altitude of 794 feet. 794 feet, oh god. Alright, just, just turn. Keep turning. Okay, let us just stop now. Ah, ah, they, ah, this is indeed a very good flight path indeed. I'm liking the look of this. So we need it to, to be about 60 miles an hour, so we'll just slow down a tad. Especially considering we will be on the descent as well, so we'll slow it down. Pull the throttle back. And go through this gate. Adjust the throttle to slow to 55 miles per hour. As you near the runway, reduce the throttle all the way and very gently pull back on 55 the 55 miles off. an hour. Stay as close to the ground as possible without landing. Eventually, the wheels will touch down. Eventually, the wheels will touch down, yes. So we just have to go through this gate and the next one and then we will pretty much be on the ground. We'll be touched down in this Piper Cub. I'm really You're glad that we well. went through that gate. Keep it steady. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Instructor. I do appreciate the compliments. I always do feel that we're going slightly too high and uh, slightly too low, I should say, in this situation. But I imagine it's it, it's just my mind playing tricks on me. I certainly hope so. Anyway, mm, sh should we put the throttle to all the way back yet? I'd say just just before we go through the gate, I'll put the throttle You're all going the way back. Too slow. Push the throttle forward a bit to speed up and gently push forward on the stick so you don't climb. You're almost there. Okay. Reduce the throttle all the way to idle and get ready to land. I've reduced it. Great. You're on the ground. Coast no, to I'm a not. stop or apply the brakes. Oh. Apply the brakes. You've done it. You've successfully landed. Stop. Yes! Fucking get in there, lads. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd say that was, that was quite a smooth landing, despite the fact that we did kind of miss one of the gates, but that's, uh, that's fine, to be honest. I'd say if I can just maybe learn those kind of flight paths, as long as I, just, just as long as I line myself up right, it's absolutely fine, I'd say. So, yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please like, comment, subscribe, favourite, share with your friends. Stay tuned for our episode to Flight Simulator X Gold Edition. If you have any suggestions for games that I can play on this channel, then leave your suggestion in the comments below and I will add it to my to-do list. Uh, I'll see you, see you next time, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye.